Oh, you can see the car now coming. So now we can shoot the driver. In 1975, the war started and it started along this axis, which is Damascus Road became the demarcation line or the green line. And it cut Beirut in two, what was called the East and the West Beirut. And uh, this building was at a very important intersection. So it was uh, commanded by the militias of East Beirut to control this, this entrance to Beirut. And it became a war machine. You see that yellow building with the arches? Yes. That was the counter snipers. So snipers of West Beirut lived in that building and shot people trying to cross in the other direction. Cars and streets and policemen. During the war, this was empty and just sand and the sign that says, beware sniper. The snipers that lived in the building and used it were very lucky because they found an architecture that has very uh, ready visual axes that can make the sniper sit in the back room and kill people in the front. Now, if you want to say there is a monument to the civil war in this building, it's this room. Because in this room, first they built the walls to protect themselves, and the walls are one of the deepest. They are almost one meter eighty deep. And there is one sniper, the second one, and the third one. The third one is the most important one because he kills through seven openings in the building. He kills from this door and the apartment door and the staircase and the windows of the staircase and the first column of the balcony, the second column of the balcony and he kills people on Damascus Road. So he's shooting diagonally through the building. Nobody on Damascus Road will know that he is killed from this room. It's because for Ad Kuzah and Yusuf Aftimos wanted people in this room to be connected visually to the city. They didn't know that it would be a sniper who is killing people in the city. The room outside was full of holes in the walls. Here, for 15 years, with all this demo damage, nothing happened. So the snipers who were killing people here were safe. And you can imagine that there were three people fighting to kill and competing to kill. And maybe when they killed somebody, they were fighting who killed him. Is it me? Is it you? And they were happy because they were killing. This is one of the main graffitis of the war. It says, I want to tell the truth. My soul flew away in a minute. And the signature, the name of the sniper is Begin. Begin was the prime minister of Israel at the time. So, and this will definitely be preserved. This says, if the, love, if the love of Gilbert is a crime, let history witness I'm a dangerous criminal. So somebody loves Gilbert. Gilbert is one of the snipers. The signature is Tarzan, it's another sniper. Ketol, third sniper. And Bacon, the fourth sniper. So from here we know the nicknames of the snipers and maybe we can see where they are. It says Ketol passed through here, so Ketol is definitely a sniper and here it says with Gilbert I shall die so this overlap between an, a genius architect and a very w clever sniper makes this building even more important it documents the ingenuity of the Lebanese before the war and how pioneering they were and the happy life before the war and it documents the war itself because it lived the war and it was used by the war and many people unfortunately who were killed on the Sodico intersection were killed from this building. Let's hope we meet here when the museum is open.